Hey, hey. Spring Lafay, Simple Tarot. Okay, a reading for the collective. So, for whatever sign, if you feel like it's for you, there's a reason. So, this can be for anyone who feels like it's for them. I'm going to use this deck, the Shells deck. Um, I feel drawn to it. Okay, what's our message? Patience, Temperance, number 14. Okay, someone's being called to have patience and strength and be very understanding. So, this whatever this is, you're being called to, to have patience about. It's going to um, test you uh, to a point of having to be very understanding. There's something, um, I'm seeing five, so there's some kind of change that's going to happen. Something is going to happen that's going to call for you to really... Have strength and be understanding and be patient. Okay. More. King of Shells, the visionary. Okay. Tell me more. Ten of Gems is protection. Um, okay. And it is upright. I'm not supposed to take any of these that's downright because the words are a part of the message. So, protection. So, you are protected. You're protected from something. Um, I feel like it, the angels have protected you. Um, you know, I feel like, I'm going to be honest with you, I feel like this up here is someone uh, that you're either dealing with or you're going to be dealing with. Um... I feel like that you're coming in with this Empress down here, and you are. This is letting you know that you are protected. Now I need to figure out this person up here, but I feel like there's one more card down here. Okay, yeah. Support uh, the Sun number nineteen. So, you know, the angels are here to support you. You know, this is creativity. And this is support. Support you along your way. Support you in whatever you are creatively endeavoring into, it feels like. Um, you got protection, though. I need to look into this person up here. Okay. <laughs> ah, it's going to be different for different people. Okay, if this person up here is... Um, well, just, can we get an idea on that person? The visionary, the king of shells. Okay, they're going to want to offer something. Okay. Okay. Now, here's where I have to ask different questions because <laughs> you see the cards. Okay, for some of you, for some of you, this is someone from your past. Now, uh, not for all of you, but for some of you. That wants a reconciliation, wants to come back together. Now, I need to dig into, okay, just give me just a second here. I'm trying to find my cards. What did I do with them? Oh, I covered them up. Okay, now, okay, if this is, I have to ask different ways on this. If this is, um, Past romance coming back around. Okay. Okay. If this is past romance, this is someone from your past. They want to move towards you. They want to take a leap of faith. They want to come in quick. They want to take a chance that you'll want to reconcile with them. So we'll look a little deeper into that. Okay. Now, if this is um, past family member. Okay. There was something that was not truthful. Wasn't um, something, the truth wasn't shed on something um, in the past, it feels like. And it feels like that someone, um, they feel like, you know, they really have to take care of this. They have to deal with it. You know, they're backed up against a wall. This could be a father figure. This could be a brother, an uncle. Um, or it could be even a female uh, family member that is in their masculine energy. So, yeah. Um, you see what's on the bottom. So, for some of you, this could be a family member that's coming back around. Something happened. Uh, but for some of you, this could be also a romantic 
past person, you know, that you had a relationship with. Now, if this is, okay, that's for some of you, not for all of you. Okay, let me jot this down because they're going to have me look at that in the extended. Okay, past romance. Because they want me to keep going with this. Um, past family member. Okay, now. Um, okay. If this is someone that you meet out and about. See here? Out and about. Could be under the stars, actually. Uh, this could, person could be out, you know, spending money, buying something. Um, you know, you, you, there could be stars, you know, whether... And I'm not going to say they have to be outside. This could be actually at some kind of place where there's stars on the ceiling or something. Um, but it feels like it's about around people. So, you know, some people. Okay. Okay, if this is uh, meeting someone romantically out and about. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. Hermit. You got your walls up. You got your walls up. See, there's the King of Cups. King of Shells. Um, okay, you, you've got lots of options, but you're going to take the walls down a little bit. Uh, now this person, uh, they got, you know, they got, they got some emotion to offer. Justice is here though, and I need to ask why, because you've got lots of options. Uh, why is Justice here? May we know? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> you and this person could be the perfect match, actually. Um, this feels like, you know, there's a lot of truth. This person's standing in their truth. You're standing in your truth. Justice is here because I feel like there's been lots of lessons in the past. And um, you're taking on the, the Queen of Cups energy. So, perfect pair. Wow. Okay, show me more of these options. Okay. Tower reverse. Something... Um, is going to happen that has to happen. Um, okay. You have got this. Okay, you got someone that's going to. You see right here, we've got this. And then we've got the knight. Okay. You've got someone. Okay, I asked about options. Okay. Some relationships are not going to be what you want them to be. So I'm not saying it's this person here. But it's within the options. Uh, the tower comes down because someone, you know, they didn't want to give what it takes to have a relationship with you. Or what you feel like you need in a relationship. Tell me more about the options. Okay, judgment. Karmic lesson. <laughs> okay, and I feel like you're going to, you're probably picking up on that. Okay, Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Okay. Um, the Queen of Wands is another option. Um, this is not that person. This is someone that um, they've got a lot of emotion to give. You know, they may have family, children. So it would be, you know, they may want to blend families or such. Now, can I know more about the King of Cups here? Okay, the King of Cups is manifesting. Been carrying a lot of load. Tell me about that load. You know about that load that the King of Cups is carrying? Okay, whoever this is has been dealing with someone else. Um, it feels like it could be a father figure or a grandfather or an uncle or such. This is someone that... Um, they're, they're a lot about work, a lot about getting things done. And I feel like that um, this person has kind of been under their wing, so to speak, or under their sight. They may be working for them or something. And, you know, they're finally walking away from that so they can break themselves free. 
Um, it could be being controlled by family. But it's breaking themselves free. They want a victory. Wow. A lot of ground to cover on this. Um, I'm going to pull some, some more angel cards for you, I do believe. But let me look over this right quick here. Um, let's see. I feel like we need to look at if you're dealing with it. Uh, for sure, an Aquarius. Yeah. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Virgo. Oh, I thought I had Virgo, yeah, right there. I thought I had it wrote down on there. Let's see what else we got. What else? Leo for sure and Libra. Leo, Libra. Who else? Sagittarius. Sagittarius, where are you? Sag. Okay. Um in the extended, we'll look at if you're dealing with a Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. No, not Pisces. No, I don't even. I'm not even seeing Pisces. It's Leo um, and Sagittarius. And I will look at this past romance, and then I will look at this past family member as well. But right now, I want to take you some angel cards. I feel like I'm supposed to. Um, first off, I feel like I need to take you one of these. Okay, wait just a minute. some form of news from someone. I don't know who this is from. They're not pointing it towards anyone. But it's got something to do with um, the way something hasn't been balanced within a home, a new beginning, um, something falling apart with the tower. This is for someone. This is happening in someone's life. Something's falling apart and they're going to communicate with you and it's going to be very hard for them to do that. Not sure why, but I feel like it will. They're hard up about money. So they may be ashamed of that or something. So, let's see. I'm going to look at Aries, too. In the extended. Okay, we got Adriana. Or Adriana. And it says, I am leading you toward... The answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. So pay attention to your dreams. That's very important at this time. the card. Thank you. We got um, the present number 23. So being in the present moment is going to be you need to be in the present. Be in the here and now. I fully experience every moment of my life by living in the present moment. So that's very important. Sorry about those dogs barking. Sounds like a vehicle is being a little loud. Okay, may I have the one of these that I need to see? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Oh, 
beautiful. Look at that. But it also looks very, well, if you look, there's a little bit of growth, but not very much. It looks really barren and really dry and really hot. Yeah, it does. Desolate. So something may seem unbearable to you, but it just seems that way. Okay. Do you know what it, what's a million times better than getting to the top of the mountain? Getting there after having been lost. Oh yeah, the universe. So, something may make you feel like, you know, you really have been lost, but when you get there, it's going to be where you, where you, need to go it's going to be that much better okay I want to take you a um, okay for those of you that you know you you are uh, this could be about romance in other words and I know all of you aren't but some of you are we've got reflection I want to show you the card Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. And honestly, I feel like that could, you know, that could even go with a family member there. Okay, Romance Angels, for those who want romance in their life, you got the retreat card. It's time to disconnect from the world. Time takes some time for you. Maybe take yourself on a vacation. Take some time for you. Enjoy life. So, that is what I've got for you. Um, the extended link will be below, and if you like the readings, thumbs up. Please do subscribe and um, share out the readings. Help grow the channel. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Much light and love. Until next time. Bye. Thank you.